Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to perform a quick and easy install of Nagios Log Server using a virtual machine like VMware Workstation Player. To start, I'm assuming you already have VMware Workstation Player on your machine. If not, head over to nagios.com downloads and follow the instructions there. You can also consult the install guide before continuing with this video. Once you've got VMware Workstation Player up and running, these are the next steps you'll take. So let's get started. With VMware Workstation Player open, click on Open a Virtual Machine and select the OVA file that you downloaded on nagios.com and then click Open. Now's your chance to name the virtual machine. We'll name ours Nagios Log Server Test. Once you've named the VM, go ahead and click Import. This will take a minute or so to load up. If you need assistance at any point, our support team will gladly schedule a complimentary quick start remote session to help you get up and running. Click the info card in the top right or link in the description below to find out more. Also, be sure to watch the following video on how to log in. If you're still importing, simply pause the video here. Once the import is successful, you'll have the option to edit your virtual machine settings. Make any changes you need and when you're ready, click Play Virtual Machine. Your virtual machine will now start loading up. Again, this takes a few seconds. Now that the virtual machine is done loading, all you need to do is use the default username and password to log in. The default username is root. Click into the VM and type root for the username and hit enter on your keyboard. Next, type Nagios LS as the password. Note that you won't see it when typing it in the VM. Hit enter on your keyboard when done. You've now logged into Nagios Log Server using a virtual machine. In the following video, we'll show you how to access Log Server in your web browser. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more great resources from Nagios.